Scandinavian food is not all about pickled herring and meatballs. There's so much more to the Northern European style of cuisine. And I'm going to show you a really rustic roast that they do. This is pork shoulder that's going to be pot roasted with blueberries and shallots. It is delicious. But you do need a little bit of time to do this. You need to cook this on a low temperature for a long time. So let's get started. A nice big pot roast just like this. I've got it on a medium temperature, a good glug of olive oil and we need to seal the meat. Now I'm using pork shoulder. I love pork shoulder because it's got that perfect ratio of fat to meat and it doesn't dry out when it's cooking really slowly. You'll need about 1.2 to 1.4 kilograms of meat for this and ask your butcher to take the bone out because it's just going to take a little bit longer to cook if the bone's in it. So a little bit of salt, good crack of pepper and we'll do that for the other side. Now you can also do this with other cuts of pork. I've done this with pork belly. Just make sure you take the rind off the pork belly. All right, salt on that side. And then let's get that straight into that hot pan. And we're not cooking it at this stage. We're just getting a light caramelization on each side, which will take a few seconds because that pan's really, really hot. And we can turn it over now. Great. Now you can see this caramelisation on the pork. This is what we need to develop a beautiful sauce. So make sure you get that lovely colour. Now that we've turned it over, we can start adding our shallots. Now these shallots are particularly large. If you can get small ones, leave them whole because they look fantastic for presentation. If you get the large ones, what you can do is just cut them in half, straight down the centre, and then just leave the little root on the shallot so they hold their shape throughout the cooking process. And I like quite a lot of these. These French shallots are fantastic for roast because once they caramelise and once they cook, they become really, really sweet and sticky. Now we can put these around our pot roast just to give them a head start. And the meat is caramelised on both sides so I can take it out and just place it on the board while we finish cooking our shallots. Now I don't need to add any more oil to the pan because the meat has rendered a little bit so there is that pork fat in there and then I'll just give this a quick shake. See those gorgeous caramelised colours? That's what we're looking for. Now it's time to deglaze this pan. So some good full bodied red wine for this like a Shiraz or a Cabernet Sauvignon is fantastic for cooking stews like this. So into the pan. Now the wine needs to reduce by one third. We want the alcohol to evaporate. So just let that bubble away. And the herb of choice that will go with our blueberries and that will go with our pork is thyme. I love thyme and it can handle the long cook too. So half a bunch of thyme. We'll place the pork back into the pan. And now it's time to add our blueberries. Two punnets of blueberries, fresh blueberries for this. It sounds really strange to add the blueberries at this stage and it will stain the sauce, so it will be a vibrant purple colour, but it's also going to impart a gorgeous tart flavour and a sweet flavour. So very traditional in Northern European cooking to add fruit with pork. I'm adding two punnets so we can really taste it. Just scatter them in the sauce. Now we need a little bit more liquid in this pot so it doesn't dry out throughout the cook. So I'm going to start with 500 millilitres of chicken stock. You could also use pork stock if you like, just so it's almost covered. And then I like to add a cartouche. And that's just a fancy word to say a bit of glad bake on the top for extra assurance when it's cooking in the oven so it stays nice and moist. So how we do that? Well, we just have to do a little bit of origami. <laughs> I'll cut that rectangular piece at the end, get rid of that. And then we want it to be the same size as our pot. So we just fold it and continually fold it to the centre point. And this can be very rough. And then we just measure it out. So from the centre, so it fits evenly. And we'll cut that. Ta-da! Perfect circle. <laughs> so that goes on top. 
Now the lid can go on and then this goes into the oven for about three hours at 160 degrees. I'll check it halfway through just in case it needs a little bit more liquid. Okay, this pork shoulder has come out of the oven. It's been cooking for three hours. Let's have a look at this. Oh, wow. It smells fantastic. We'll take away that cartouche. Ta-da! It looks stunning. And you can see how much the bottom has stained from those blueberries. Look at that. Purple pork. <laughs> it sounds weird, but it is going to be delicious. Now, this meat is so tender, I could pretty much pull it apart with my fork and spoon, but I do want to slice it. So carefully take it out, place it on our chopping board. And I'm just going to place the heat under this roasting pot just for a few minutes to thicken up the sauce. No need to add any flour to this. I think the best way to get the tastiest sauce is just to be patient with it and just allow it to bubble away for a few minutes. That'll thicken it up without adding any of the flours. So stirring that. Have a look at this sauce. You can see that those shallots have held their shape, but they're still very sticky now. And then look at those little blueberries they've held their shape and they've coloured that sauce so it's lovely and purple. All right, while that's bubbling away, let's start carving a beautiful piece of meat. I'm just going to turn it around against the grain and then slice it. Oh, look how tender. This is definitely a winter style dish, slow cooked meat served with a rich red wine and blueberry sauce, yummo. All right, let's have a look at this sauce. Yep, I'm happy with that. We'll turn it off and let's serve it up. So a generous amount of this blueberry jus on nice bright blue plate. <laughs> Place an even amount of sauce to onions. A little bit more sauce over the top. And then we'll take our gorgeous pieces of pork shoulder and we'll just pop that on the top. And I would serve that simply with some crispy roasted potatoes, maybe some steamed beans or some broccoli, and that's it. A really delicious heartwarming pot roast using pork shoulder and blueberries. Who would have thought the Scandinavians would have come up with such a brilliant way of cooking pork?